Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful nation. Shalom. So I was watching this video, and he's talking about how um, Russia and the rest of these Idumians are getting ready for war out there in Europe, man. And um, tensions are brewing up in um, the Middle East as well, all right? But really all all throughout that um, area of Asia, Middle East, Europe, tensions are, are brewing up because um, World War Three is going to pop off sooner rather than later, all right? And um, this video right here, all right, you can, I'll leave a, a link in the description. He um, has footage, has footage of them digging trenches and um, he has some type of website or app where he shows like war planes and doomsday planes and stuff. And I think he has more videos on um, <clears throat> talking about um, more, t more um, information that uh, the mainstream media isn't giving about what's happening over there in Europe. It's finna be all out war, man, and it, it it goes back into the scriptures, um, like Joel chapter two, I believe, Ezekiel thirty eight, um, I believe Ezekiel thirty six as well, where it talks about how um how the Amalekites are in our land, all right, and the rest of Esau Edom helped them establish um their head tribe in in our land. Alright, and I'm going to just dive into a few scriptures. Let's go to the book of, um, I believe it's Ezekiel 36. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it was Ezekiel 36. Um... Let's see, let's start at at verse five. Ezekiel thirty six and five. Therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, all these other nations, alright? And against all Idumia and Idumia is the so-called white men, women, and children, all right? And they're not white, they're red, which have appointed my land into their possession, which they've done via Belfort Declaration, or I think it was the, it was um, written up in 1917, and then they start packing up all uh, all their um, Amalekite, so-called Jewish people. After World War II, when they really started going back to the land of Israel, man. And, um, the Palestinians were over there, all right? And, um, they, they couldn't even take all the land. Because all of Israel isn't what they're calling the state of Israel, all right? It includes Palestine, I believe, Syria, and all of that as well, man. Um, and let's just keep reading, all right? Which have appointed my land into their possession. With all the joy of all, with the, the, with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. All right, prophesied therefore concerning the land of Israel, saying to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, thus said Yahweh, thy power, behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. All right. Verse 7, 
Therefore, thus said Yahweh, thy power, I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. Because what's happening now, man, the wicked has been revealed. All these nations are starting to turn again. Esau, I, Edom, these Idumians. And Idumia is just another word for Edom. It's, uh, I believe, the Greek way of saying Edom. And um, just to go on to that, where was it? <clears throat> Idumia is just another way of saying Edom. And Edom means red because so-called white people are not white. They're, they're red. Their skin has been stripped of melanin, right? And it became translucent. So you see their blood. That's why they're red, all right? They're born with leprosy. That's what leprosy is. Go back to my video. One of my videos where I talked about biblical leprosy, all right? But let's, let's jump to Ezekiel 38. Yeah, no. Ezekiel 38. All right. Ezekiel 38. Ezekiel 38 from the top. Because Gog and Magog is that land of Russia. All right. But Gog and Magog goes back to Japheth. But in this instance, it's talking about these Russians, which are also Edomites. All right. And the word of Yahweh came to me saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws. Because, yeah, you know, Russia, like with the Cold War and so on and so forth, it was ready to get down against, um, the rest of these Edomites, they was ready to get down. But ever since then, it's just been back and forth petty, you know. I believe they did do a slight invasion of Ukraine nothing uh, back in 2008, I believe. But it was nothing major, all right. But now, things are heating up, all right. It's going to be an all-out war, man. And I will bring thee forth in all thine armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, and all of them handling swords. So this just goes into their military vehicles, their their weapons, all right, their guns and whatever else Esau has in a tank with the with their armor and all the um, weapons they haven't really shown to the public, all right. Cause you these these bullets these guns man, you think you think they're gonna um, you think they're gonna um pull out regular bullets and guns during the war like as their main force? Nah man, they got so many new type of weapons out here man. It's gonna be out of this world, right? Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them all with shield and helmet, right? Gomer and all his bands, the house of Tol Tolgar Tolgarma. Of the north quarters and all his bands, many people with him. And Gomer goes back to the land of Turkey, all right? And yeah, man, Russia finna get down out here. And then um, Israel, the land of Israel, will be nuked, all right? And America will be nuked, all right? Turned to dust. And just to go into that, Go to Isaiah 34. From the top. Come he near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all the things that come forth. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations. Why? Because all nations have were uh, confederate against the Israelites, man, the Lord's people. And his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. So all these nations and these two-thirds will be uh, slaughtered, man. And the remnant of the nations will be um, slaves for the remnant of Israel. 
their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved from the nukes, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, right? That's from the nuclear, the nuclear blast, and all their hosts shall fall down as the least falleth from the vine, as the falling from the fig tree, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. And what do nukes do? They go into the orbit of the earth before they land down. Intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic mi missile. It shall come down upon Idumea. Yeah, because these Edomites are going to get nuked, man. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and the fat of kidneys of rams. For Yahweh have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. And that goes back to um, the United States of America, which is Babylon the Great. And you, and for twofold, for the lambs and goats, the lambs represents these two thirds, and these goats represents Esau Edom, all right? And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness, all right? For the day of Yahweh's vengeance. And a year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. Alright. Let's see. And yeah, this is just geek goes into um how um the United States of America won't be inhabited again. And I think this is brought up in Jeremiah 50 as well. Yep. It goes and lines up. Isaiah 34 and Jeremiah 50 lines up perfectly, alright? Just to show you that America is Babylon the Great. And it's talking about in the future. Because there's no land. There's no... Um, there's no land in the Middle East because Babylon will in the first Babylon, all right, was um I believe Iran, and then everybody in Iran is still over there, man. It's not a giant desert, uninhabited. So this is future prophecy. Check this out. Jeremiah fifteen and twenty three. I was the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken. How was Babylon become a desolation among the nations? All right. So when you go into the hammer, that's a weapon. And, uh, and so if hammer is a weapon, so the weapon of the whole earth. So that means what? You have power over the whole earth. What's another verse that talks about? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, to um, connect Esau Edom with this is simple, man. So Jeremiah fifteen twenty three, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder? So power over the whole earth, and then you go to Job one and twenty four. And it says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right. Then you go to Malachi 1. Malachi 1. Malachi 1 and 4. It says right here. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And that's talking about Esau Edom, whereas Edom said, I don't want to uh, read the whole entire precept, but like it says, Edom, and it says Edom is the border of wickedness. So wherever they go, there's wicked, wickedness, because they are the wicked, right? So Esau Edom is the wicked, and the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. And there was only two nations prophesied to control the earth, which is Esau Edom and Jacob. Oh, well, e Esau and Jacob. And their progenitors, all right, their offspring was the Israelites and the Edomites. So 
let's just go into that. I'm chaining Esau Edom to Babylon the Great. Genesis 27 and 28. Let me scroll up a little bit. Genesis 27 and 24. And he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's vengeance. And then my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat. And he brought him wine, and he drank. And Isaac is Yahweh Shah in the reincarnation, all right? And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is the smell of the field which Yahweh hath blessed. Therefore the Most High give thee of the dew of heaven, and the fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren. Let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that cursed thee, and blessed be that blesses um, Blessed be he that blesses thee, all right? And that's talking about, um, I think it's when uh, Jacob stole a blessing from Esau. Now let's go into Esau's blessing, all right? So Jacob was promised to rule over the earth, which means the Israelites. So let's go to Esau's blessing. All right, let's start at 38, Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, As thou but one blessing, my father, bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Because Esau Edom was supposed to get the birthright going off. He was the firstborn, but it was prophesied by Yahweh by Shem Shai that Jacob would get the birthright to rule over the world forever. All right, so let's go on to um, Esau Edom. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and a dual heaven from above. So he's getting um, rulership over the earth as well. And by thy sword thou shalt live. And by thy sword shalt thou live. So Esau Edom will live by the sword, the hammer of the earth. Let's keep going. It shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion. So Jacob, right? Israelites will have Esau Edom under submission, and then Esau Edom would break away. All right, that that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing whereas his father blessed him. Esau said in his heart, "The days of mourning for our mother at hand, for my father at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob." All right, so Esau Edom, Edomites. And the Israelites were the only two nations blessed and promised by Yahweh by Shem Shai to have rulership over the earth. But Esau Edom's rulership will not last forever. Only the Israel rulership will last forever. Let's go into the Apocrypha that goes into that, all right? Second Ezra six, right? Second Ezra six, chapter six, and I'm gonna start at seven. Then answered I and said, "What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of that, beginning of it that followeth?" And he said unto me, "From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob, Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau." For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Esau, Edom, the world will end under Esau's Edom rule, and then the beginning of the Israelites' rule is the uh, beginning of that, right? All right, the beginning of that end. The hand of man is betwixt the hill and the hand. Other question, Ezra, as thou not. I answered then and said, O oh, oh Lord, that bears rule, if I found favor in thy sight, I beseech thee, shew, shew thy servant the end of thy tokens, 
whereof thou chewest me part the last night. Let me scroll down a little bit. All right, I think I'm done there. Now let's go to Psalms 137. Let's scroll. Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, which had raised it, raising even the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, this is the same Babylon in Jeremiah 50 and mentioned in Revelations, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So Esau Edom is connected to Babylon, all right? The daughter of Babylon, that great whore. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So Esau Edom, all right? All those things you did to the Israelites is going to happen to you, man, all right? And, um, so what I just showed you, all right, that the Israelites and the Edomites are the only two nations that were promised by Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, to control the earth. And the scripture says that Esau Edom is the wicked, right? And then, what else did I go into? That uh, Babylon is the hammer of the earth, all right? And weaken the and, and weaken the nations, all right. And that goes into Lucifer, right? The light bearer, because Lucifer, all Lucifer means is the light bearer, man. Which Esau Edom is, okay. And then um, I show that Esau Edom is connected to Babylon, okay. So yeah, man. Call Halim La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, great millstone who rule well, peace and blessings, the hopeful elect, shalom.